pop something in the microwave to heat it up pretty quickly. But there's no such thing as a reverse microwave for cooling something off. And you're about to learn about the science behind why you probably won't be seeing one anytime soon. First, let's talk regular microwaves. When you pop in a bag of frozen veggies and press the start button, the microwave sends a specific frequency of radio waves to excite the water molecules in your food. Radio waves are a type of electromagnetic radiation. That's an umbrella term that includes visible light, infrared, and x-rays, all of which are a form of energy. Energy excites molecules, and excited molecules are hotter. But there's no frequency of radio waves that can calm molecules down to make them colder. Got all that? Good, because here's where things get a little complicated. Those excited molecules aren't just hotter. They're also in a state of higher entropy. Entropy is basically a scientific measurement of disorder. And according to the second law of thermodynamics, any process in a closed system progresses toward increasing disorder. That's why it's so much easier to heat food up than it is to cool it down. You can't reduce entropy, and cold things are at a state of lower entropy than hot things. Stay with me here. When you fill up an ice tray and put it in the freezer, heat flows from that room temperature water into the colder air of the freezer. That may sound like decreasing entropy, but not if you think about the entire fridge. It's using a ton of energy to take heat out of the things inside and transfer it into the surrounding air. I mean, have you ever felt how warm the back of your fridge is? So that's an overall increase in entropy. Meanwhile, the cold air is a poor conductor, meaning it doesn't do a very good job at removing heat from the water. That's why you have to wait for hours before you have solid ice cubes. Anyway, back to the idea of a reverse microwave, there are certain materials that can cool quickly, but they don't lend themselves to eating. A gas cools by expansion, which is why a freshly sprayed aerosol can feels so cold. But gas isn't all that filling compared to solids or liquids. Barring some dangerously cold substance like liquid nitrogen, nothing can instantly cool food the way a microwave can instantly heat it. When it comes to popsicles freezing and beer chilling, you'll just have to wait.